basketball. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Harlan. With me, Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And as always, the Hall of Famer David Aldridge joining us from the sidelines. And a couple of injuries among their reserves. I expect their starters guys will be ready to do whatever's needed. Two players injured, one of their stars out, something they'll have to dig deep to overcome. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. De'Aaron Fox out there with Ellis. And it's Barnes in at the three spot. And for the Pelicans, the front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at center. Well, make sure to buckle your seatbelts, everyone, because both of these teams love to run it up and down the floor. I know Richard and I have ours harnessed in and ready to go. Oh, I love these kind of high-energy games. This is definitely going to be a fast-paced game. Get ready for a track meet. Tip-off goes to New Orleans. Ingram outside. Alan Junis with a screen on Barnes. Ingram wide open. No good on the three. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Fox against McCollum. Murray sets a screen for Fox. Outside for Murray. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Showing the range. Murray is very consistent from out there. Jones, the pass to Ingram. Now, here's Valanciunas. Passes to McCollum. Back to Valanciunas. Nice D from Sabonis. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Yes, sir. Fighting through the bump. Now trying to finish the three-point play. One thing that's really emerged, RJ, for De'Aaron Fox over the last few years is leadership. Yeah, hey, when you combine great talent and maturity, your teammates will follow the example you set. And he is setting that example night in and night out. There is no question, Greg, this Pelicans roster has the talent to at least be a playoff contender every year. No doubt a contender. Their problem has been staying healthy. They have a big three, but Ingram and Williamson didn't play in half the games during that 22-23 campaign. Quick start for the Kings in this one. Pass to Sabonis. He dishes it to Murray. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Excellent use of size there by Valanciunas. Reaching out and just swatting that shot. Valanciunas sets a screen for Ingram. The pass to Valanciunas. Well timed pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here's Fox. Murray is screen on McCollum. Fox against McCollum. Just five to shoot. Here's the three. De'Aaron Fox. And that's good. Fox has got six. And when Fox, he's hitting consistently from deep, it opens up the floor for him and his teammates. Williamson with a screen for Ingram. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. The Kings have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Barnes finds Fox. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Three. Nine points in the game so far. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, they're in control on both ends of the court, and it's always impressive when you build a double-digit lead in the first quarter. Now here's Jones. Back to Ingram. 
A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Williamson against Murray. And Barnes gets double team. And a wide open look here for Ellis. Traps in the tray. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Now here's McCullum. Hasn't made one yet. Alan Junis with the ball. Now guarded by Fox. Alan Junis draws the double. Out to Ingram. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Kings. Sabonis has got four rebounds now tonight. Fox against Williamson. Sabonis is screen on Williamson. Fox. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Now here's Ingram. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. There's the three. Drills it from outside. Ingram's got five. Silky three-point shot by Ingram. Just goes to the arc and knocks it down. Up top, Sabonis. Guided by Alan Junis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And when you talk about big men, you won't find many guys more versatile than Demondis Simonis. Yes, he scores and rebounds at a very impressive rate, but what stands out to me the most is how amazing of a passer he is. That's why he was third-team All-NBA. Free throw good, Sabonis. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success? He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State, Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. He's off on the second. The unique skill set Sabonis possesses is really outstanding. This man is a versatile scorer, a talented rebounder, and is an exceptional passer also. Now, here's Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Fox. Cullen passes to Valanchunas. And the shot goes down. Valanchunas has got his second basket. And it's the Kings with the ball. They have a nine-point lead. McCollum against Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox beyond the arc. And Alan Junis pulls it down. For New Orleans, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. McCollum against Fox. Now Alan Junis to the paint. Here's Ingram. Kicks it out to Williamson. Fox against McCollum. And here's Ingram from the arc. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Ingram's got eight points. And this is Ingram's attitude. He's ready to fire away as soon as the ball hits his hands. Ellis against Jones. Murray outside. Sacramento moving it around. Fox with the screen for Ellis to the right side. Let's go. Fox, no good. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Ingram kicks to Jones. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Now, here's Fox. He's got nine. Here's Sabonis. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. You have to know where Sabonis is. Really box him out. He's so good on the offensive glass. 
And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. With New Orleans GA, you have to feel like the talent is there. It is, but they, they can't get ahead of themselves. They've won 50 games in a season only once in their history. You can't have playoff success until you prove you can survive the rigors of the regular season. Trey Murphy's checked in for Herbert Jones. Here's Williamson. Nothing on the board. Here's Ingram. And he uses the glass on the way. And I love it when Ingram works for that high percentage look. Such a high basketball IQ. McCollum against Fox. Inside. Sabonis finds Murray. Barnes outside. A three-pointer, no good. Here are the Pelicans with the ball. They're on a 13-3 run. Here's Williamson. Another one falls for New Orleans. That's going to be a difference-making shot for Zion if he can dial that in. Sabonis with the ball. Five points in the game. Fox, no good. Williamson with it. Picked up by Ellis. Here's Ingram. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Fox against Williamson. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. The dish to Ingram. Launches from deep. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Now, here's Fox. He's got nine. Here's Sabonis. That misses off the backboard. New Orleans in the lead. And here is Ingram. Rebound by the Kings. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. On the wing, Ellis. Covered by Williamson. Sabonis' screen on McCollum. Fox dishes to Ellis. Murray the pass to Barnes. Five on the clock. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. And there's Fox. That's good on the assist by Murray. Fox has got 11. The mid-range jumper is a valuable weapon for Fox because defenses don't always expect it. Pass to Valanciunas. McCollum with the ball. Sabonis defending. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's foul number two for him. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Daniels, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And the Kings will go for a different look here. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Cody Zeller's checked in for the Pelicans. Hawkins comes in for Williamson. to McGee. Kings moving the ball around. Outside, Fox. Pass to Vizenkov. Good on the triple. And the Kings lead by four. 
Showing the point guard instincts there. Fox with great vision. Here is Daniels, guarded by Fox. Pass to Ingram. Shoots the three. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now, here's Fox. He's got 11. Pass to Vizenko. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Vizenkov's got six. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Ingram kicks to Daniels. And the pass to Ingram. Zeller setting the pick for Ingram. Four on the shot clock. Offline from the top of the key. Kings leading now by four. Outside, Fox. And uh, 101 left in the first. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Hey, Richard, during the Kings breakout 2023 season, Sacramento set an NBA record for offensive rating. Over 119 points per 100 possessions, breaking the record set by the 2021 KD Kyrie Harden Nets. De'Aaron Fox was running the show in Sacramento. We throw good, Fox. You gotta love how scrappy De'Aaron Fox is. No matter what kind of challenges he faces in a game, he's never giving less than his all. Sabonis, he's checked in for Sacramento. Fox hits them both. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. Jones checked in for the Kings. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter. Down low, here's Zeller. The shot's good on the assist by Daniel. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Hawkins against Jones. Sabonis and slam dunk by Sabonis. Yeah, I like that he's not taking any chances there. Sabonis goes up strong with the finish. Daniels passes to Ingram. Zeller passes it to Hawkins fires the three and again New Orleans with the triple I'll tell you what I'm not sure these guys can keep this up there will be some let down at some point but these teams they are built to score so Mitchell feeling it out a bit there's a bonus got it good job in the low post Sabonis has got nine points. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Kings lead by five. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Kings. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. Hawkins is out there with McCollum. Then there's Trey Murphy. Then it's Cody Zell, and it's Marshall in at the power forward. That's the Pelicans' five as we get into the second quarter. What a finish by Sabonis. Threw a little contact, too. I like it. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by seven. 
It's Hawkins on the wing. A three. And it's Vazenkov with the rebound. Sacramento's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Here's Wiles. And there are the Kings with another bucket. He's a tough fella to deal with when he gets below the free throw line. New Orleans has gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, guys. Zion Williamson is a force to be reckoned with, but Coach Willie Green said he's just scratching the surface. He's going to continue to get better. Over and over again, he's making the right play. Kevin. All right, D.A., thanks. Now, here's Mitchell. And it's Vazenkov missing. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Sinks the triple. And great ball movement from CJ. That's the unselfish play you want from your guards. Here's Mitchell. Still without a basket. Pass to Lyons. Pass to Duarte. Lock at six. Shoots. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. And there's the pass to McCullum. Here's Hawkins. That falls. Nice feed that time for McCullum. McCullum's got four assists in the game. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Hawkins. Mitchell against McCollum. Double team Sabonis. Here's Vazenko. Again, the miss by the King. And he does it right in his face. This is how you answer a three with a three. Just merciless. Here's Zeller. Off target at the rim. Kings leading now by three. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Shots good by Lyles. RJ, I've got a hypothetical for you. If we did a fantasy draft and you had the first overall pick, who would you take? I'm going to be honest. Right now, I'm going to have to probably say Jokic just because there's no defense that has been created that can stop his offensive game. So ultimately, it doesn't matter how good of a defender he is. But second, I'm still going with Brown. Here's Lyles following the basket by C.J. McCollum. Sabonis kicks to Lyles. Here's Mitchell. Rebounded by McCollum. Pelicans trail by three. Marshall passes to McCollum. Zeller, a screen on Mitchell. McCollum, no good. Kings have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Kings moving the ball around. Sabonis feeling it out of it. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And this is what you love about Sabonis. It's his energy and passion for the game. Now here's McCollum. Passes it to Hawkins. Three-pointer. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got seven rebounds in the game. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's his third foul of the game. So for the Pelicans, Harry Nance has checked in for Zeller. Ingram comes in for Marshall. And Jones subbed in for Hawkins. Keegan Murray's checked in for Sacramento. Ellis comes in for Duarte. Ellis outside. Mitchell finds a bonus. And Trey Murphy gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the Pelicans making a change here. Daniels has checked in. And here are the Kings now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. 
Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. has got the ball here for the Pelican. Eight-point game. Let's it fly. Nails the wide-open jump shot. He's got five. Sacramento's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Mitchell outside. Double team Sabonis. Out of bounds, King's ball as Sacramento keeps possession. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Ellis against Jones. Pass to Lyles. Just four to shoot. For three, Mitchell. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Pelicans trail by six. Pass to Daniel. There's the pass to Ingram. Hits it from three-point range. Ingram's got 16 points. A natural born score. Ingram is a walking bucket. And he can beat you in so many ways. Now, here's Mitchell. Team Sabonis. Wide open look here for Murray. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Pelicans have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Daniels passes to Nance. From down in the low post, it goes. And now just a one point Kings lead. Sacramento's gone past the three point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Mitchell finds Ellis. Now, here's Mitchell. He's covered by Daniels. Pass to Ellis. Launches a three. No good on that one. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Mitchell outside. Pass to Ellis. Back to Mitchell. Daniels. No scoring in this one. To the wing right side. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Kings leading. Now, here's Mitchell. Here's Murray up on top. He kicks it to Ellis. Sacramento moving it around. Miles knocks down the three ball. You've got to be kidding me. Draws the foul and hits the shot. What a play from three-point range. Sacramento shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Williamson is checked in for Trey Murphy. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Dyson Daniel. Pelicans trail by five. Here's Ingram. He's got 16. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. A three-pointer is right on target. And it's six points for Ellis. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. 
hands the screen on Barnes. Here's Ingram. Hands the shot from the wing. Ingram's got 18 points. And, and the speed of Ingram makes him a nightmare for defenses in pick and roll. Constantly keeping them guessing. Nance against Lyons. Murray dishes to Fox. Murray surveying the D. Shot clock at five. Fox finds Barnes. No good with the triple. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Alvarado passes to Jones. Gets an open look and hits. Now just a four-point Sacramento lead. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Jones against Ellis. Dishes it to Fox. The 11-footer. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Ellis has got three assists now in this one. We've seen Fox take over games before. Only takes a few shots to go, and then this man is feeling it. Now here's Ingram. He's got 18. And there's the feed to Williamson. For Murray. And with that shot, the Sacramento lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Williamson. Boy, it's a joy to watch Ingram as he's developed. One of the hardest working players in the game. Nance against Lyons. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Sacramento, they have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Two shots. No good on that one. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for Larry Nance. And a change for Sacramento. McGee, he's checked in for Trey Lyons. And he's good on the second. Pelicans trail by five. Alvarado with it. He has yet to score. Kicks to Valanciunas. Ingram outside. Ingram drawing the double team. Jones dishes to Valanciunas. McGee with the block. And here is Fox. He's got 16. Over Alvarado. Again, the miss by the King. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans, trailing by five. Williamson kicks to Valanciunas. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. Not that time. It's off. He's three for seven. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 47% from the floor since the end of the first quarter. Pass to Murray. He dishes it to Fox. McGee inside. He's covered by Ingram. And Jones sends it back. One fourteen left in the second quarter. Here's Valanchunas. Valanchunas can't get that one to fall. Sacramento leading by five. Fox deciding where to go with it. Now the pass to Barnes. Outside for Murray. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. And that's now six points for Keegan Murray. Now El Verado. Still scoreless. Valanchunas in the high post. Ingram against Barnes. Ingram passes to Williamson. 
New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Trying to end the drought. And they get it back. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Ingram dishes to Valanciunas. Valanciunas draws the double. Jones from outside. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. Barnes left side. Three-pointer, Fox. He can't get it to go. And so it's the Sacramento King in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Just joining us in this one. First half is in the books. One half to go. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. On the court right now for the Kings. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Ellis is out there with Fox. And it's a bonus in at the center position. And the three ball is good. With big time lift on his jumper, Fox can be good D. Jones looking for an opening. Alan Junis finds McCollum. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Fox against McCollum. With some art. Rejected by Ingram. And in great use of lift by Ingram. Able to reach out and get his hand on the ball for a block. Trey Murphy's checked in for New Orleans. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Pelicans trail by nine. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Fox against McCollum. Outside, Jones. Not loose. Over Ellis. On the basket by Jones. Jones has got seven. Here's Ellis. He's got six. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Sabonis kicks to Barnes. Banked in off the glass. And the Kings lead by nine. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Talk about the value, Richard, of having a player like Harrison Barnes on your roster. It's immense. He's a steady veteran who finds multiple ways to impact the game. It sets the tone for the rest of the guys out there. They know they have to work as hard as he does. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And it's not everybody who needs hops to finish at the rim. Valanciunas just needs to be in arm's length of the bucket to throw it down. Here's Fox, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. For Sacramento, they have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. The Adam Fox at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, 
The first one falls. New Orleans making a switch here. Daniels is checked in. Fox hits them both. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Passes to Valanciunas. There's the dish to Williamson. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That's his first foul. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. They set the pick. Five to shoot. Williamson kicks to Jones. This one for three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Barnes passes to Ellis. Pass to Fox. Over Williamson. Fox, no good. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Pass to Dallin Tunis. Williamson against Murray. And with that shot, the Kings lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Williamson. I'll tell you, the plus wingspan is part of what makes Williamson so difficult to defend. Outside, Fox. Over Williamson. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got seven points for the quarter. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room, forget about it. Alan Judas with a screen on Fox. Alan Judas inside. Sabonis is there. No good from Valanciunas. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. They have a nine-point lead. Time now for an injury report. Let's get an update on Ingram with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the Pelicans. He said it's definitely an ankle sprain and that he feels a throbbing pain. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us, and especially his teammates, to get some facts. Now, here's Fox. He's covered by Daniels. It's Fox with the drive. And he converts the layup. Fox has got nine points here in the second half. The correct read by Fox, taking it himself. De'Aaron is showing that sometimes being selfish is the right decision. Ingram, he's checked in for Trey Murphy. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Pelicans trail by nine. Here is Daniels. Still yet to score. The pass to Williamson. It's deflected and stolen by Murray. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Fox has got five assists in the game. For New Orleans, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. Valanciunas dishes to Ingram. Hits from the high post. Ingram's got 22 points. And you see the polish from Ingram as a scorer from every level. His versatility is a boon for this offense. Here's Fox. The three. Cranes the three-pointer. Fox has got 12 points now in the quarter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. 
This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Ingram attacking. Really got to give props to Ingram for aggressively attacking the rim. Not many guys want to get in his path. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings are still figuring everything out. De'Aaron and Fox said we're still learning each other. What we're doing offensively is great. We have to prove defensively, but that'll come with time and chemistry. DeMontis Sabonis added it's just the beginning. The more we get a feel for each other, it's definitely going to get easier for us. Kevin? Yeah, a rising power. I think all of us on this broadcast agree with that. David, What's thank up? you. Throw good, Fox. Daniels with it. Scoreless thus far. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Fox passes to Sabonis. Outside, Fox. On the wing, and he drops that one in. Fox has got the lead up to 13 now for Sacramento. I love it when young players add elements to their game. If Murray can continue to pass like that, he'll be tough to slow down. Passes it to Daniels. Williamson with it, covered by Lyons. That's good from Williamson on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got his fourth assist in this one. Top box. He's covered by Daniels. Outside Fox. And it goes down two points. Fox has got 35 in the game. And Fox is so slick with the handles. I love watching him show off like this. Kicks it to Dallin Junis. Dallin Junis, that's a screen for Ingram. Valanciunas inside. Defended by Sabonis. No good from Valanciunas. Kings leading now by 13. Marie finds Fox. Fires the three. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Daniels. To the middle. Low block shot. And Williamson with a nice bucket inside. Williamson's got 12. And this team encourages Zion to be assertive inside. They know how skilled and overpowering he can be. Floats one, and Fox finishes it off. Fox has got 37. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. to Williamson. Daniels with it. Takes the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Daniels has got his second bucket. And every year, Williamson seems to take another leap as a distributor. Great pass on that one. Fox passes to Sabonis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Yunus Valanciunas. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Kings. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And one other thing, I, I love how comfortable they are looking to operate from mid-range. No qualms about taking those wide-open jumpers. So for the Pelicans, Hawkins checked in for Trey Murphy. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Dyson Daniel. Good on the second free throw. Now here's Ingram. He's got 24. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. There's the drive. 
Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. The pass to Fox. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Now that opens the passing lanes for Fox when he's scoring inside. Defenders can't quite be as aggressive on him. He's been spending quite a bit of time at the foul line. This is trip number six. He has come through in a big way at the foul line in this game. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Zeller comes in for Valanchunas. And Trey Murphy subbed in for Brandon Ingram. They throw good. Fox. Pelicans trail by 14. Williamson, the pass to Zeller. Now Hawkins. Zeller, a screen on Mitchell. Here's Hawkins. Back to Zeller. Drops in the layup for two. You'd love to get the ball this close in every trip where you can almost just not miss. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Sacramento. And it's McGee atop the key. Pass to Vizenkov. Mitchell with it. Down to five on the shot clock. McGee sets the pick for Mitchell. For three, bangs home the trifecta. Mitchell's got six points. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. 144 left here in the third quarter. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. And another three for New Orleans. You have to admire the competitive mindset. Williamson proving he's up for the task, delivering the payback three there. Pass to Vizenkov. Back to Mitchell. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. And it's Fox with the jam. It's the speed of the Aaron Fox that is just so tough to match. Pelicans trail by 14. Williamson kicks to Hawkins. Zeller setting the pick for Williamson. Stolen by McGee. Here's Vazenkov. He has six. McGee finds Fox. Hawkins against Mitchell. McGee is screen on Hawkins. The drive by Mitchell. And stolen by Williamson. From deep. And he recovers it. Passes it to Hawkins. Zeller, a screen on Mitchell. Here's Hawkins. Drills the three-pointer. He's got nine. Well, you're giving up a bit of height there. You could expect to get burned from downtown when you do this. Now, here's Fox. He's defended by Alvarado. And here is Fox. And he has 42. McGee sets the pick for Fox. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Great read that time from Fox. Dropping a dime out of that two-man game. A big-time effort for De'Aaron Fox. Providing a lot of energy for the King. What an un... There was absolutely no stopping him. We come back right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he's always been uh, the favorite to back this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. That is why he is a point guard in this league. He has the elite passing ability, the vision. You need both to play the point guard. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. 
Trey Murphy is out there with Zeller, and it's Alvarado in at the one. That's the Pelicans five. DeMontis Simone. First personal five. First team five. At the line for your Pelicans, Cody Zeller. One shot. Here's Mitchell. Screen by Sabonis. Unloads from 13. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Pelicans trail by 10. Ingram against Sabonis. Here's Alvarado. Offline with his three. And the Kings with possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Vizenkov. And here is Lyles. And a miss there on the triple. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the dunk by Seller. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Sabonis sets the pick for Mitchell. Pass to Sabonis. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And the Kings lead by 10. I love watching Sabonis work in screen rolls. Positions himself perfectly in every set. Back to Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. I, I don't mean style points. Sabonis, the pass to Mitchell. Screen by Sabonis. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Pelicans, Nance comes in for Cody Zeller. And it's Najee Marshall in for Trey Murphy. Mitchell outside. Shoots over Alvarado. Nails the baby hook. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Ingram kicks to Marshall. Now Jones. Here he goes. Can't cash in from close range. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just he just tricked off a little bunny. RJ passes to Mitchell. Buries it from three-point range. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digit. Jones uses the glass to finish the lane. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Here's Duarte, defended by Jones. Now the pass to Mitchell. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Pelicans trail by 13. To the inside. Here's Nance. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And what I like about Nance Jr. is how he positions himself. Knows his strengths on offense and plays to them. Jonas Valanciunas is checked in for New Orleans. Hawkins comes in for Jose Alvarado. And a change for Sacramento. Ellis is checked in for Lyon.
that free throw good from Nance. Kings leading now by 10. Ellis surveying the D. He kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Vizenkov. Sabonis' is screen on Ingram. Here's Torche. It's hauled in by Hawkins. The Pelicans have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. First free throw is good. Tyson Daniels check in for New Orleans. both from the strike. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Ellis the pass to Mitchell. This is a Duarte. Shot clock at six. Launches it. Another three for Sacramento. Uh, if you give a shooter of his skill an opening like this, he's going to take it every time. Screen by Valanciunas. Ingram with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Goes up to the strike. A second chance effort. And with that shot, the Sacramento lead has been down to nine in the bucket from Valanciunas. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Sabonis got it, and he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. And it's clear that Sabonis has it going on right now. That defense is at his mercy. Pass to Valanciunas. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Mitchell outside. To the middle. Sabonis, no good. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. Nine point game. Daniels dishes to Ingram. Alan June is with the ball. Kicks it to Ingram. Nance outside. Ingram drawing the double team. Here's Daniels. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Jones against Ellis. The pass to Mitchell. Here's Vazenkov. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Here is Daniels. And good that time. Now, here's Mitchell. Dishes to Ellis. Pass to Vizenko. Now, here's Mitchell. Over Jones, and Jones sends it back. He dishes it to Daniels. 
Ingram passes to Jones and taken away by Ellis. Feeds it to Mitchell. Nice deep from Valanciunas. Pelicans trail by seven. Who's watching here? Daniels kicks to Nance. Passes it to Valanciunas. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. No holding Valanciunas back there. He gets physical and gets through the contact. So for the Pelicans, Williamson is checked in for Nance. And McCollum subbed in for Daniels. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, thanks, guys. Was able to hear Mike Brown during the break. Now, they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. He reminded players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. And when that three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? Thank you, David. Kings leading now by five. Sabonis finds Fox. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Back to Murray to end the drought. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Fox has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Cullen passes to Valanciunas. The dish to Ingram. Just five on the clock. Now Cullen outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Fox against McCollum. Let's it go from 11, and it's in off the backboard. Fox has got 44. They need offense from Fox at the point guard. His jump shot is an important weapon for them. And here's McCullough. Pass to Valanciunas. That's a floater go. That one misses. Nice D from Sabonis. Fox dishes to Barnes. Ellis kicks to Fox. Back to Ellis. The tray. And another three for Sacramento. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. Chalk up two there. Valanciunas has got eight points here in this quarter. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looked. It's a challenging shot. Murray outside. And there's the pass to Fox. Back to Murray. Fox with the screen for Murray. And it's off from three-point range. And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. Trailing here by eight. Back to Ingram. And Jones has it in the corner. Off target with his three. Sacramento's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. A pass to Fox. Sabonis is screened on McCollum. Fox passes to Sabonis. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. Outside for Murray. No good on the triple. Pelicans trail by eight to the paint. Here's Williamson. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. Well, that's just the pure strength and explosiveness of Williamson. Easily finishes there through the contact. Fox passes to Barnes. Murray for three. They get it back. And that's when they say you can't teach tall. This is where size helps you. Owning those rebounds on the defensive end. McCollum with the bounce pass. 
Williamson outside. Back to Ingram. Goes up on the wing. Almost, but it rolls out. Kings leading now by six. Outside, Fox. Two left in the game. Passes it to Sabonis. The kick out to Barnes. Connects from three point range. And the Kings lead by nine. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Fifty three seconds left in the fourth quarter. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Inside. Here's Ingram. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, uh, utilizing his crazy length, Ingram has that seven three wingspan, and it helps him score over the defender. And the dunk by Barnes. And it's just competing, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And battling injuries off and on throughout the years. Ingram is a major when healthy. Good on the first, and that brings them within eight. Both free throws, good for Ingram. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Well, this one is winding down now. Sacramento can run out the clock. Mitchell outside. So the Kings win it. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother me. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.